where's the proof of that? Where's the proof of that? That's that's what they said. Her family members that she either killed herself or was killed by an intruder. It was only until a doctor was the one who classified it as a homicide that law enforcement started considering it a police killing. Another disgusting thing is the fact that Sonia's own father didn't know who actually killed her until he read a news article online. And to think that if there was no video at all, this story could have been easily manipulated. May Sonia rest in peace, and I cannot imagine what her family members are going through right now. Let's keep them in our prayers. Imagine having a clip of your loved one online like that. It cannot be easy. It's even hard for me to watch, and it's just like... You mean like PNB Rock? <laughs> Or Nipsey Hussle. Or uh, Extentacion. <laughs> or FBG Duck. <laughs> or King Vaughn. Or Indian Red Boy, or Triple Beans. You mean like that, man? Like the hundreds of videos of rappers, just rappers, not even just all thugs or all black people, just rappers. You had a hundred videos of rappers getting killed online, man. So imagine how many we got of black people, normal black people, man. You got any thoughts and prayers for them? Huh. Listen, man. Oh. Okay. Julio Fulia. Well, we don't have actual food. Do we have? Oh, yeah, we do got the shooting. We got the shooting online. Yeah, we do. But we don't actually see him. Yeah, we do got his face. Yeah, that's true. We do got the bullet. We do got his face. That's true. We do got Julio Fulio. Yeah. Yeah. But we got 100 rappers, just rappers. Yeah, pots down, don't shoot, man. Yeah, hey, man. Let's see what some of these white guys got to say, man. Let's see what some of you white guys got to say. The names that are coming out of everyone's mouths today... Today, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Donald J. Trump. There's one name that everyone should be saying today, and that's Sonia Massey. Forget these politicians that are dividing us for one day and just say Sonia Massey. And if you don't know who that is, whether you're white, black, brown, yellow, red, a simple search will put the most hollowest feeling if you see what happened to that beautiful young lady. And I hope, I hope that no one ever shows that officer any mercy in the prison he's going to for the rest of his life. Sonia Massey, that's the name you should say today. Quit letting these politicians divide us. Okay, I mean, all right. <laughs> okay. Fine, man. Fine, whatever, man. Trigger warning, this is not the kind of video I wanted to make today. I'm sure all of you is not the kind of video I wanted to make today. 
I'm sure all of you are aware, a uh, 36-year-old Black American woman named Shauna Massey was brutally unalived by being pew pew three Sonya. Tom's including once in the face by an Illinois sheriff deputy named Sean Grayson. Now, Sean has been in six police departments in the last four years. He was convicted at age 21 and 22 of DUI and was still able to get jobs in the police force with all these DUIs. Um, a person's past doesn't matter. We learned that with George Floyd, man. Whenever we tried to bring up George Floyd's past, they said it doesn't matter, man. Your past doesn't matter. So uh we don't we don't want to hear about his past, man. We just want to know what happened that night, sir. We don't care about his past. Your past doesn't matter. Now we don't sure the reasons why he left all these departments. He said it because he was only getting part-time hours, maybe that because the quality of his policing was bad. I and you too young to be having a Elroy Jetson haircut, man. I mean, too old, man. You like, you like, fifty three, looking like Elroy Jetson, man. The hell wrong with you, man? Grow up, man. <laughs> be it, grow up, man. That's probably why you sitting here virtue signaling online, trying to kiss black people's asses, man. <laughs> you still young at heart, man. You ain't a man. You ain't got your your your, your balls haven't fell from your stomach yet, man even at the age of 53 and i'm not saying don't have sympathy for um the woman but man we don't need to hear about how great of a person you are and how you think this is how listen man this the only black murder you know about <laughs> that's crazy man i don't know but police departments kept hiring him and now he's facing first degree murder charges uh, has been arrested as well as some other charges, and he's going to go away, I assure you. I think life without would be the appropriate punishment, but I have a feeling the man will get 20 to 25 years, the Illinois Department of Correction, unless they can tag a hate crime offense to it and make it federal. So that's what we're looking at. But the point of this whole video of me saying this, because people have been talking about Miss Massey and her death extensively, so I don't think there's anything I can add to it, except to say we really really, really need a database for police misconduct because I'm a convicted felon. My record's out there everywhere. It's easily searched. We have databases, you know, registries for people that hurt kids in the bedroom. We have databases, you know. Whoa, you hurt kids in the bedroom? <laughs> you might want to keep that to yourself, man. Woo. What do you advise? We have fishing license i mean do we have databases for everything but what we don't have a public database for is misconduct by police if they've been charged with something they've been fired they've been convicted it needs to be public record not just for the police departments to know but for the citizens in that community where that police officer is trying to get hired you mean the citizens in the community that if a fucking two-year-old got shot in front of 20 people nobody would give a police a statement you mean that community, you dumbass? You live, you you mean you you talking about it through the lens of your community, you you white piece of crap. How about talk about it through the lens of Sonya Massey's community, where people get killed every day and it's shootings every day. And and, and, and and I'm not talking about in the city, but in neighborhoods. There's a shooting every day in the neighbor in each neighborhood. Sometimes people get hit, sometimes they don't. Sometimes people get killed, sometimes they don't. But it's a shooting every day in the neighborhood. You talking about a neighborhood where you don't have that, man. You might have a shooting every five years in your neighborhood. In public. You gliders got to stop seeing. You guys, you guys if y'all going to be experts on black people and y'all going to be on here talking about black people, man. You got to know what the fuck you talking about, man. There needs to be some sort of public process that announces the candidates that are looking at so we can check out the people they're wanting to hire. Because it's kind of crazy to think about we don't know the backgrounds about the people that are being given power over us, arrest powers, powers to shoot us, powers to arrest us, to imprison us. I just think we've kind of gotten sideways in our system, and I'm not sure we had how we go about fixing this but a database for police that ain't the problem that need to be fixed you moron 
The police ain't the ones that need to be fixed. Salute to um, Boy Kachina. He said some people only dream of being in the 1%. Yeah, man. Shout out to you, Boy Kachina, man. We need 1% of the 1% of the people to take the $5 challenge, man. 1% of and shout out to Rashad Ritchie for giving me this idea, man. We need 1% of Op Nation to take the $5 challenge. 1% of you guys man i never thought i'd say that man shout out to rashad richie man Shock. salute to you boy kachina man shocking but jesus jesus good oh i want to see some Oh, yeah, this white guy, man. Let's see this white guy. Imagine saying I love you. Imagine saying I love you to the person who's about to murder you moments before it happens. That's exactly what happened to Sonia Massey. When the police arrived, she says to them, I love you moments before she is killed. I must have missed that part, man. Let me drop the link, man. I must have missed that part. Damn, man. I got to go back and look at that, man. I got to go back and look at that tape, man. We, I missed that, man. Damn. I missed that part, man. I got to go back and look at that. Oh, yeah. Bruh. Macho man Randy Savage. <laughs> oh yeah. What was that girl that used to be with him? Elizabeth. Macho man Randy Savage. <laughs> oh yeah. He was always the intercontinental championship. They never let Macho Man be like the big dog, man. <laughs> He's always the intercontinental champion, man. Uh, yeah. What's going on, guys? What's happening, man? I just gonna glide. Salute. Ain't nothing. Glad is going glad, man. Moments before she is killed. But here's the craziest part of the ball. That cop shouldn't have even been there. Should not have even been there that night. This officer had multiple infractions for excessive force on his record. He's been shoveled around to departments no less than three in the last two years. He had multiple DUI, DWI infractions on his record. How did he even have a gun? He had a fiance who had a father who called in a favor because he was the ex-chief. They gave him a job. And now because of that, Sonia Massey is dead. She was murdered in her home asking for help. And for those of you out there, bringing up her mental health how dare you how dare you um sir her family brought that up nobody like we we, we kind of thought she was a little off but her family is the ones who informed us that she was a paranoid schizophrenic yeah and, and technically technically speaking that's not why she's dead right she's dead because you know the how wide the boiling water right Yo, I like I like the the music though. For a fact. Yeah. <laughs> I can't take it seriously with the music. I think I could take it seriously in the first place. What in the world TV says Gladys doing it to get more likes and follows? Hey, maybe so, man. Yeah, that might be what the, I, but I, I I think that these Gladys like a lot of them are like this though. Like all of them ain't yeah. just trying to get likes and follows. Now, I think all of the ones you've shown are 
they're not doing it for the followers. They generally, I bet you, they feel like that. You know, most I mean? of them don't even know any black people. Exactly. I promise you. It can always exactly. be both. F- Fisherman, do you think these gliders like walk around in their daily, and when they see a black person, they think you pour like some kind of like sympathy, like you pour a thing. The cops. Well, they don't want anything to do with them, like on a personal level, but they want to feel good about themselves at a distance. Yeah. But do you think what I said is that you think that's a possibility that they walk around looking at sun, these sun thugs, and have sympathy for them? Like, oh, you poor thing. Uh, it's like, uh, they, they want, they want, it's like they, they think that, oh, well, if we just like, if they just had a father, if that someone just taught them how to cut the grass, then they would be different. And it's not that at all because they don't actually have any lived experience with blacks that they don't understand that it's DNA and it's just how they are, period. It has nothing to do with any sort of input from some, you know, glider made up system. It's just how they are. Yeah, these are these are just people being themselves. I do think, yes, what in the world TV, yeah, there are some that are, you know, looking for likes and everything. But I think that the majority of people you see online, even people on this show, like people that come up here, like yesterday we had a lot of new people. I think those people were just being themselves. I don't think they were, like, putting on any airs. Right. Some people are, you know, they're just that's just how, how they are. No, nah, they've well, been programmed. Yeah, right. yeah, right. I mean, that is fair Try to some extent. I mean, that's yeah. to whatever extent, minor extent. Yeah. Excuse his horrible behavior because she was getting help for what she needed help for. Now there's two babies at home with no mom because people cut corners and allowed this man to have a job when he should have been in jail long before. Sonia Massey didn't have to die. But here's the thing. This isn't an anomaly. This is an epidemic in our nation today. (laughs) No, it's not. It's not at all. (laughs) Not even a little bit. This is the one. This is the one. This is the George Floyd of this election. We've, yeah, we they just winner. had a. Yeah, they just had a grieving moms matter event in Memphis the other day, and they ran out of seats. How ironic is that, isn't it? Memphis of all places. How ironic. It's got. Do you think? Do they? Do they not know that? Like they don't even do they like. How do they? This is what I want to know from the gliders. There's you, you, you guys are so detached from us that y'all don't even know like that we be killing shit like that. Y'all don't know that, right? They don't have no idea. They know no uh, idea. You don't think so? No, like I've talked the to majority. whites like this, and they literally think like white people go around shooting up everything. What about you, KB? Same shit. They're retarded. Do they know? Or yeah, they know? yeah. I mean, I don't. I can't speak for the whole country, but within well, yeah. the the white well, people I'm close to, absolutely. Like wow. I've had white women tell me that, like, when I bring up sun violence, they say, "Well, they don't compare at all to rednecks." <laughs> oh no wait, you're lying. Are you serious? I signed straight up, no bullshit. Jesus, wow. Because they don't hold a black people don't hold a candle to the degeneracy of rednecks, according no, to white women. Wow. Hey, can we appreciate how this guy is uh, doing a roid raged BLM rant? I never yeah. thought I'd see that. Yeah, like best case scenario is the steroids kill him. <laughs> For society. Being allowed to carry a gun when they should never have one. You either fix the problem or you're part of the problem. Help be the solution or you're part of the problem. Sonia Massey was murdered in her home by a cop who should have never even had a gun. Shout her name at the top of your lungs. Sonia Massey. Shonda Massey. Imagine. <laughs> this is it, right? I, this is it, right? This is the George Floyd of this election, right? Is that fair to say? Well, I mean. 
I, I, so far, but here's my thing. Uh, there have been no riots and no demonstrations. Well, well hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. In, Ch in Chicago, there was a large demonstration today. Yeah, there, yeah, there was yeah, a okay. I, I, think, I think we have a winner, right? Springfield, Illinois. We have a winner. The Midwest, baby, I, we out here. I, I don't know, man, because here's my thing. This is not – although this is big, don't get me wrong, pause, but it's not – having the same effect like maybe it's percolating maybe it's bubbling maybe it's like trayvon yeah. you know this is bubbling maybe it's like a or maybe it's like water on the stove right now yeah maybe it's like um ahmaud arbery <laughs> rihanna those things bubbled for a while before they got you know big but this one feels like it's at its peak this hey, feels I, like it's at its peak man i also hey, think i'm gonna that, say your name here sequoia turner yeah, thank you, Sequoia Turner. The young girl was killed at the B, at the um, by BLM rioters at a um, gas station, 